Hey guys, NCS Fan 001 here, welcoming you back to the uh, All Missions walkthrough of Fallout 3 with commentary. Last time we completed most of this mission, Operation Anchorage, I'm stepping on Poles Field, I'm stepping on Poles Field and not dying. It's because I'm that awesome and I disabled it anyway and those turrets are <coughs> not trying to hurt us. Okay. I learned my lesson here. Don't walk very close to this or you're gonna die. Cause he shoots it with a fat man. All right, so we're gonna get a little bit of radiation. You know that, you know that was a fat man because there's radiation. Wow, there were four guys with miss, there were four guys with freaking mini nuke launchers. Wow, that's so stupid. You really need that much overpoweredness, wow. I feel like I'm just playing Modern Warfare 2 with a team again of, uh, excuse me, I have to get a drink there. Just, uh, people doing nothing but noob tubing, one man armying stuff. Okay, final boss of Operation Anchorage, if you could call him that. General Jingwei. Okay, here's what you got options to do. You can do the speech challenge, and actually, if you win this, he'll commit suicide, but I don't think we're going to win it. If not, you're going to have to fight him. I was hoping that I would actually fail that so I could show you guys how you have to beat him. Easy boss. It's time to play a little Nazi zombies here and run a rape train. That's all you have to do. Run in a freaking circle and he will die. Every time. He's so easy to beat. Just keep on dropping mines. As long as you do this and cripple his legs pretty quickly, he won't even be able to hurt you. Once you cripple his legs, he can't even hurt you. Because he has a sword, it's his only weapon is his sword. Just keep running in a circle, he can't kill you. It'll take a good 10 mines or so, and plus your squad mates will eventually join in on the fight as well. It'll take a good... It'll take the majority of your mines. Oh, see, there he is, he's dead, okay. Yeah, it'll take the majority of your mines, it took me like... 10 or 11 mines, but that's, it's not a big deal. They turned hostile? <laughs> they turned hostile because I hit them with my mines. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. It doesn't matter. This concludes the simulation. And this portion, you've shown that you've got what it takes. Good work, soldier. Ah, they turned hostile and couldn't kill me because I finished the DLC first. Yeah, that's awesome. DLC completed. One down, four to go. Oh, yeah. That's kind of funny. I turned them all off, so I've never actually done that before. So, go on and step out. Where's my guy at? making it through simulation. And as agreed, you get your share. There's plenty for all of us. Yeah, right. Like, I'm going to let you have any of it. Your man just pissed me off so much. Why would I let you have any of it? I'm gonna drop that. I need to d decide what I can drop here that I really don't need. I'd like to sell that, actually. All right. I think it does have a weight. Okay. Switch to that. Now, run for the armory, because if you don't, they'll actually open it first and take some of the gear. Selfish jerks, even though I'm the one being selfish. Don't worry, I'll give the statistics for all the weapons in here at the end of the video. First things first, grab the armor. That's the most important. Now just start running through and grabbing everything. I don't know exactly how much is in here. Just grab every freaking item in here. No knowing what you've got breathing on you. Shock sword, trench knife, Chinese assault rifle. That. I need the gauze rifle, if I can have that, please, thank you. Already got that. Now, I'm completely overweight here. By a lot of weight, okay, let's see what I can get rid of. I actually like carrying that because it's worth something. Go on and equip this armor. Best armor in the game. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop that. Just wanna carry that for a moment because it's actually worth something. I'll just I'll eat all my food first. See what I get left with. Maybe I can pick some of it back up. 
Actually, you know what? It's not gonna matter. Oh, fine. Otherwise, out of my way. Screw you. Because in a moment, a fight's gonna break out, and it's not a happy fight. No, I'm over encumbered. I'll get. Yeah, if you ever have are carrying too much weight, you get over encumbered. You can't jump. You move a lot slower. You can't fast travel either. Oh, well, there's a perk that changes that in Fallout New Vegas. Ideally, though, you'd want to complete this as quickly as possible and then run because a fight's about to break out between the Brotherhood Outcasts over the gear. That Foot Locker sometimes has stuff in it, sometimes it doesn't. Well, guys, thanks for the help. I took everything. Are they not going to fight? Are they really not going to fight? Oh, now they're going to fight. Yeah, sure. Wait till I freaking step out, why don't you? Great. I got to eat this food. I got to be able to walk. Okay. Chinese assault rifle is a beast weapon. It's... It's doing just as much damage as the assault rifle right now since it's in slow, such low condition, though. Not worth taking. Uh, yeah. That guy has a Gatling laser. Oh, my God. If I can get that Gatling laser, that would be amazing if I could get that Gatling laser at this time in the game. I would guess you could just come back down here for stuff once you clear, once you kill all these guys. He only had a laser rifle, okay? A few of them actually don't turn hostile, though. Protector McGraw actually stays friendly. So, we're going to try to help him. We're actually going to try to help him. Olin also stays friendly as well. Sibley is actually kind of hard to kill. <laughs> They're dead! They're dead! Look at that, we saved both of these guys. Wow, we saved both Olin and uh, McGraw. That's actually a surprise. I usually don't manage to do that. Their armor is worth a little something if you want it. Actually, I better take that laser rifle to repair with mine. Well, so that actually went a lot better than I expected. Alright, we've got a minigun here. I'm trying to decide what I can drop, what I don't need. I'll probably end up dropping most of my frags. Take that minigun. Now, these guys remain friendly towards you, no matter, as long as you don't attack them. I think you can actually uh, repair with one of them, if I remember correctly. I usually, they usually don't survive. This is usually, a, this is a first for me. They've never actually survived. Anything in here? Nope, a weapon. Just making sure I get everything I can. I want to get everything possible out of this. So, everything in there. Those were the rewards for the DLC. And, by God, worth it. These are some of the best rewards in the entire game. So they actually stay in here. You saved us. Simply would have had to... We'll be here for a while cataloging up. You may not be one... So he's actually friendly toward us permanently. Good to see you again. I think she'll repair you for you. Normally I'd never consider this, but I probably... Yeah, she'll actually repair for you, but her repair skill's so bad. That would actually be worth doing, I think. Get that Chinese assault rifle repaired. Hate having to spend the money on it, but that's worth doing. It's definitely worth doing. Okay, I gotta decide what I can take and what I can drop and stuff. Well, I'm never gonna... The laser pistol doesn't have a high enough value to be worth carrying, so I'll drop it. Uh, missile launcher. Don't have a lot of missiles, but I definitely want to keep it. Uh, that's worth selling, though. Hmm. I guess really, that's, I've got enough of the gear. I really don't need any more of this. Looks like, I really don't need the environment suit that much. Well, actually, yeah, it would actually be helpful because it's more of, it's my only sort of option for a radiation suit at this time. I'll just need to eat two more pounds of weight. That's, that's fine. I can do that. Let's just drop a vodka, actually. I really don't need that. And I've got a blood pack. I definitely don't need that. So these guys will remain friendly with you if you ever want to come back here. You sort of got this place as an extra base for now. Cast power armor. Power armor. I want to make sure I get everything out of these guys. Ooh, my confusion cells. Very nice. That's what that other... That's what the gauze rifle fires. I really hope I can find the guy that had the Gatling laser, but he might have run away. 
Yeah, that, that's... Oh, that's just jerkish. The guy with the Gatling laser ran away. Man, if you get a Gatling laser this early in the game, that's just crazy, because it's, it's um, an amazing weapon. Oh, he had ammo. Okay. Fine. Probably need. I want to make sure he didn't run away to up here somehow, and I missed him, because I do not want to miss out on that. But yeah, since we saved the two, we're now friendly with them permanently. They'll be friendly with us. Very nice. And with that, there really isn't too much more to do here. So I'm just gonna re I'm gonna transit back to Megaton. Just probably sell the stuff off screen. But I do need to give you guys the weapon stats, so I'll do that as soon as we get out of here. So yeah, those guys are friendly though. Very nice. Friendly Brotherhood Outcasts. Who would have ever believed it? That's awesome. I'm not sure if that now makes other Brotherhood Outcasts though hostile that you walk by in the wasteland. I don't think it makes them hostile. I don't know. I guess we'll find out. So, that's the end of that DLC. So, I guess the next thing we want to do is probably go on and head for, uh, following in his footsteps. Just finish that quest and go on and, uh, meet Three Dog and all. Probably a good idea to go on and do that. I don't know if these guys out here will turn hostile if you wait here for too long, and I'm not willing to find out, so we're going to get out of here before they can do anything. God, I wish I could have gotten that guy with the Gatling laser, because that would have been... Oh, no, I, I can't get it, because because the guy picked it up. That's what happened. Okay, he picked it up. That explains. Picked it up off of his body. I had a pretty good... In the end, though, I had a great run of Operation Anchorage, honestly. That was a really good run. Okay, so with that, it's time to start looking at the uh, stuff I picked up that I need to describe. Okay, this is going to take a few minutes just because it's a lot of stuff and I'm very, very, uh, unorganized here. So I've got like seven sheets of paper that I'm using. Okay. Chinese assault rifle, AP of 23, damage 51. Uses five five sixes, a clip of 24, and a weight of 7. One of the best weapons in the entire game. Unless you find the, uh, unique version of it, which I've never actually got it because I never felt like going for it. Unless you get that, it's one of the best assault rifles you're ever going to get. Definitely worth picking up. Uh, Flamer. I do not actually think uh, we have found the Flamer yet. Where is that sheet with the Flamer? Flamer, 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 Flamer. Uh, AP cost of 50, damage of 107, uses flamethrower fuel, clip of 60, weight of 15. It's a big gun, but it's very good for taking out larger groups of weak enemies like... Uh, you know, rad roaches or mole rats, stuff like that. Gauze rifle, one of my personal favorite weapons. Uh, I think it's actually incorrectly stated in here somewhere. It's in the wrong class. Yeah, it is. It's an energy weapon. It does an AP of 38. It is unique. It's scoped, which is rare. A 91 damage microfusion cells, one round clip, 12 weight. A critical hit. What makes this weapon so amazing is that if you score a critical hit, on most human-type enemies, it will knock them over temporarily. Very, very helpful. Xinghuai Shock Sword. That is a melee weapon, and it is actually, I think, decent, if I remember correctly. This will be one of the few times it actually takes me a long time to get through all this crap. Uh... Okay. It's a unique ver- the Xinghuai Shock Sword is a unique version of the Chinese Officer Sword. AP cost of 28. It's unique. It does shock damage of 2 per 5 seconds. It does normal damage of 35 and a weight of 3. One of the best melee weapons you'll have access to in the game. But, uh, obviously I don't use melee weapons. Got the minigun. <clears throat> Missile launcher. Jeez, how many more ones do I have to go through? Missile launcher. AP of 55. It has a high area effect. Damage of 170. Shoots missiles. It has a clip of 1 and a weight of 20. This is a great weapon to carry around to take out large groups of enemies. Trust me, it helps a lot. Plasma grenades and mines. Great, I forgot that we discovered those as well. I really do apologize for the amount of weapon explaining in this video. Uh, the plasma grenade has an AP cost of 24, damage of 151, and a weight of 0.5. Plasma mine has a damage of 151 and a weight of 0.5. Better than normal frags, but a lot harder to find and also sell for more, of course. Pulse grenades as well, great. Well, at least we're going to be almost through the grenade category. That's actually good. Pulse grenade, AP cost of 24, damage of 11, weight of 0.5. Pulse mines have the same damage and weight. 
Both of them are very, very effective against robots. That's their advantage. They will usually instant kill robots. Uh, finally, last weapon. Trench knife. And now I've got to find the stupid list again. Uh, the trench knife. I think it's it's sort of a unique version of that combat knife, if I remember correctly. All right, you know what? I can't find it, so we'll just. Oh wait, never mind. I've got it right here, actually. Trench knife is a unique version of the combat knife. AP cost is 17. It's unique. Damage of 11. Weight of one. Not worth taking if you even if you're a melee character. So that's pretty much it, guys. I covered all the weapons that made this video so freaking long. So next time we'll begin following in his footsteps, and I'll probably trade some stuff off screen. See you guys then.